All right, folks, so about to take off from the student parking garage here, staff parking garage, wherever the heck they have me. Uh, but it's looked at 28 student games from 10th graders here at CDAGS, Hawkins, and uh, they're getting better every year. And I got to say, the major thing is we adults have to step our game up. So, I mean, looking at the content, the story of these games that students are making, obviously they're earlier in their skill sets, so they're a bit rougher in the implementation. But like the stories have to do with things like child labor, have to do with things like exploitation of workers, have to do with there was a Karl Marx trying to free children. There was uh, so much. Stuff. One, one was about a guy who uh, couldn't get a job because he had been in prison and the difficulties of doing that. Like these are themes that adults won't touch, I guess, because we're afraid we're going to tell it wrong or mess it up or we don't know how to do that as easily as we can. Zombies and shotguns or soldiers shooting soldiers or whatever. But but how cool it is to see these themes going on at 10th grade level. Almost every single project had some sort of message like that uh, in terms of its story, in terms of its protagonists. One had to do with the genocide uh, by colonists of Native Americans. Man, we adults need to up our game. Uh, these, these kids are are better than us when it comes to trying to deal with this difficult subject matter. And so, you know, left today, at, not, not surprised totally, but inspired by young people in terms of uh, stuff that they're willing to try to do, learning how to do, getting better at getting started at doing, um, they're already going a different direction and fast than so many people even from my generation are doing. So let's learn from it. Let's, let's keep doing cool stuff. Let's see if we can do, push ourselves to do more, tell more, share more, talk about more history, talk about more real things in our games because, uh, 10th graders are doing it and they're doing a pretty good job and getting better. By the way, as a reminder, these visits to, to high schools and stuff, which tomorrow I'm actually visiting the advisory board for the same school, uh, for a curriculum meeting. And then Friday visiting up another school up in Chatsworth. These are made possible in large part through the supporters on Patreon. Uh, please, 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 if you like the outreach that I do and trying to help more people out there get better into games, helping volunteering with communities and job centers and high schools, everywhere I can, these kind of things, a lot of the volunteering work that I do, Patreon helps make that possible. So thank you, those of you who are on Patreon. For those of you who aren't, if you like to help support my mission doing this stuff, as you'll see on, there's also options that'll help me also let other people into our game development club, worldwide online practice and support community and training community. Uh, at no cost to them through sort of subsidizing sort of a micro scholarship of sorts, but that's on patreon.com slash gamkito.